Welcome back to the Wandering Winch Search, and today we are reading Out of the Life Recovery Devotional, Step 1, Day 10. And the title of this one is Hope Amidst Suffering. And the Bible reading for today is Job 6, 2 through 13. Step 1. We admitted that we were powerless over our dependencies and that our lives had become unmanageable. There are times when we are so confused and overwhelmed by the pain in our lives that we wish we could die. No matter what we do, we are powerless to change things for the better. The weight of the sadness seems too heavy to bear. We can't see why our heart doesn't just break and allow death to free us. Job felt that way. He'd lost everything, even though he had always done what was right. His ten children were dead. He had lost his business, his riches, and his health. And all this happened in a matter of days. He was left with a sharp-tongued wife and three friends who blamed him for his own misfortune. Job cried out, If my misery could be weighed on and my trouble be put on the scales, oh, that I might have my request, that God would grant my desire, I wish he would crush me. I wish he would reach out his hand and kill me. I don't have the strength to endure. I have nothing to live for. Do I have the strength of a stone? Is my body made of bronze? No. I am utterly helpless without any chance of success. Wow. Talk about a, a, a rough job, that one. Job didn't know that the end of his life would be even better than it had been in the beginning. God restored everything he had lost and then some. <laughs> Job 42, 17 says, Then he died, an old man who had lived a long, full life. Even when we're pressed to the point of death, there is still hope that our lives will change. Our recovery could be so complete that the final right line written about us might read, Then they died, having lived long, full lives. We must remember, life can be good again. Trusting God in difficult times will stretch our faith. Now, like yesterday's, yesterday's reading, I remember there have been times where I struggled to trust God because I can't always see him working in the background. And so there have been times that I've said, well, now we're going to make it out of this mess. But when I've taken a step back from myself and let God be who he is, I have seen where he's worked to keep me safe, to give me good things, and to even take care of me. And that in itself is a blessing that I am not going to forget or neglect to thank God every day for. Because God is always good, and God is always just, and God provides even when we don't think he does. Because, like it says, trusting God in difficult times stretches our faith, and when our faith is stretched, we can see things more clearly. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, for listening, to, for subscribing for supporting the channel and ministry in whatever way you can. There are links down in the description to be able to do so in any of the ways you want. And until next time, guys, I want to let you guys know and remind you, we do not recover in leaps and bounds, but by every step that we take. We do not take steps quickly or slowly, but rather continually. The ideal is not perfection, but rather progress. So continue to make progress and continue to trust God in all things. Thank you. God bless you. And I will see you guys again soon. Thank you for watching.